So again, bone modeling begins during the fetus, and this growth continues through adolescence. Remodeling starts sometime during the teen years. So after about 10 to, to 12, 14 years, the bone starts to turn over or remodel, and this continues into the 20s and throughout the rest of our lives. But in the uh, 20s is when we reach our peak bone mass. So again, the more bone going into that critical period, the better. In the perimenopausal period and later, bone remodeling occurs faster than formation. So the osteoclasts are more active than osteoblasts, and this causes a bone, loss of bone mass. The bone mass is largely determined by genetics, and that may be up to 80%. The 20% remaining is involved with environmental factors like exercise, nutrition, and diseases. So it's crucial that you pay attention to those 20, that 20 percent. So again, peak bone mass is determined by genetics and hormones, mainly estrogen or growth hormone, and insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1, nutritional and mechanical factors. There's a slow loss of bone, approximately 0.5 percent per year, which starts around age 40 in both males and females, and it continues throughout life. At menopause, and with the loss of estrogen, estrogen mod, uh, modulates osteoclasts. And so with the loss of this control on osteoclasts in females, bone loss will do, be a rapid loss of 5 to 6 percent, up to 10 years. Men do not have the sudden loss of steroids, and they maintain a level of estrogen. So their bone loss is uh, reduced compared to females. Both genders with aging show a gradual increase in parathyroid hormone, which regulates cal uh, calcium along with vitamin D. And also vitamin D is, a is commonly deficient in the elderly. So these are important factors for aging bone. 